this video, in today's video, I'll be looking at the most likely candidates um, for each party in 2024, and I guess um, who's most favorable just from this. Um, and actually, this is technically yesterday's video because it's 12:08 right now. Um, I'm gonna try to do this pretty quickly. I have today, actually, since it's Friday right now, um, Eastern Time. Um, like obviously later, um, is my brother's birthday party. His birthday was like a week ago, but um, yeah, and um, I mean, like it's gonna be a bunch of nine-year-olds that I that will just be kind of weird, but still, that's not a silly reason not to want to be tired. Um, be actually, it's a bunch of really energetic nine-year-olds, which is kind of terrifying. Um, but I also just don't really want to be tired. Um, also, I want to try to get to bed um sooner rather than later. But starting off with the Democratic Party, and this one is easier to do than the GOP. Um, essentially, it's either going to be Biden or Harris, and it it kind of comes down to who's running, um, or to whether or not Biden chooses to run. From what we've seen, yes, he's going to be like 82 or something. From what we've seen, I would bet that he would probably run again. Um, he's, he's hinted at it, and I, I see it being fairly likely that he does. Um, there's still, of course, a chance that he doesn't, but even if the, even if he doesn't, I think it's, um, I, I'll, I'll discuss that later, but I, I think that at this point, Biden is likely the nominee. The GOP is very, very different. Um, so, first off is, well, first off is down here, looking at a lot of these, um, other candidates, and I just go zoom in. This is, I believe, DeSantis in the green. I believe Pence is the blue. Let me just see. Yeah, Pence is blue. DeSantis is green, and after that, it's a bunch of other people. But Trump is clearly the front runner, and then DeSantis, and these are probably the party's two strongest nominees. Other than obviously the other is not a person. Um, and they're, they're the two, they're the party's two strongest nominees. Um, and this, this is interesting, but I, I would think that should DeSantis run, Trump isn't running. Cause I don't think that, I, I find it unlikely that DeSantis would actually run without getting the okay from Trump. Um, he is very Trumpian and I, I don't see him trying to debate Trump um, in a primary, and typically, you know, you go after the front runner. I don't see Trump not being the front runner in a GOP primary that he's in at this point. Um, so that's that's kind of down to those two. There are a lot of people over here that if Trump runs, they, or if they run, it's almost certain that, that Trump isn't running. Um, Nikki Haley, Ted Cruz, Marco Rubio probably, Josh Hawley, I don't think he's on here, but Josh Hawley's another one. Um, so this this could be um, a very interesting scenario. Right now, from what we've, and I, as far as I'm aware, I'm not, like, super, like, looking at this, like, super hard. But as far as I'm aware, according to inside sources, it looks like Trump's going to run again. Um, Pence, and I believe, like, the, like I think Pence, Pence is probably going to run. I think that DeSantis may run. I think that DeSantis is probably going to wait for an okay from Trump to run. Um, and I, I think that's probably long gone at this point. I don't think that Trump's going to not run. Um, I, I think that at this point, not, not necessarily that he's not going to not run. I think that DeSantis, I mean, yes, DeSantis has been shifting more Trumpian recently. But I think that kind of does show that he would, he would be off, he would be willing to. Unless, of course... He tries to run as an anti-Trump, um, or in a, a Trumpian, like Trump, Trumpism without Trump, um, which which is very interesting. But I think at this point the four favorites are Harris, Biden, Trump, and DeSantis. And I think that at this point, the most likely scenario is Biden and Trump. Um, so just looking quickly at these, Biden and Trump, I think it's the most likely scenario. Um, if it were Biden and DeSantis, I think it would change slightly. But I think that this would probably be the overall outcome um, in terms of states won. 
if it was Harris versus Trump, I did this actually last night. I believe I gave Trump, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania. I'm not doing the same margins, by the way. Um, I believe this is what it was. If it's Harris and DeSantis, um, Arizona's Arizona and Pennsylvania are both sort of toss ups. Um, so these two could go either way. So it's essentially three Democratic victories plus one with a toss up. Um, so yes, this I, I think that this does favor the Democratic Party. Um, to sum this all up, I think that at this point the Democrats are favored in twenty twenty four. Um, Jan, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like below. Stay tuned for my next video, either tomorrow or significantly later today. Um, subscribe to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and comment your suggestions down below. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.